Hey there, Cootie Crew, and welcome back to my channel. Today is finally the day where I'm going to try and dye my hair my 2020 color. I know I've been hyping this on here for a little bit of time because I've been like waiting for the pink to come out and like months ago for the ghost pepper video, people were already asking what my next hair color is going to be. I've even had the dye sitting in my bathroom for like a month and a half and I haven't pulled the trigger, but today's the day. As you can see, and you might've seen in my last video, my hair is back to blonde. Okay, so without further ado, I will let you know what the color is gonna be, but if you clicked on this video, you basically already know. I'm going for a bright sunflower. Goldy yellow. Black and gold is my theme for this year. Like, I just love that combination. Um, if you've been following my channel, you've already seen a lot of the hair colors I've tried out. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just really excited to try something super vibrant. Yeah, each year I've had like a color kind of theme that I followed with my hair. One, because it's just fun to do that. And two, it helps me keep track of time. Really, it helps. I am slightly nervous just because I'm actually really loving the blonde as it is. I think it looks really nice. But at the same time, I've been thinking about trying yellow for so long. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the trigger. I've had hair mistakes in the past and I lived. So even if I don't end up loving it, I know I'll survive. That's just how it goes. One of my concerns is that there's gonna be some green in the dye, which is what I was trying to avoid. Um, because I accidentally had green hair and I think that's the only color so far I haven't liked on me. So I don't want any green tint to the dye. I'm going for like a gold sunflower yellow. Like I said, not so much a neon highlighter yellow. Um, so let's take a look at the dye. Okay, today's dye of choice is Overtone. I've used Overtone in the past for um, the pastel purple and the dark purple and it worked really well. I've also done um, my fire color, so my ends were yellow at one point. And for that, I used a totally different brand. I'm going with this brand just because the last few times I've used it, I've just absolutely loved it and I know it's a safe bet. And they have a bunch of different shades of yellow, so I knew I could kind of pick closer to the tone of yellow I was going for. So they do have the extreme yellow, I think it is. That is more of that like neon highlighter yellow. I got the Vibrant Yellow. Uh, it looks very yellow. And just in case it is like too much on that like highlightery yellow spectrum, I got a teeny tiny size of the orange to just kind of like make it a little more orange if I have to mix that in. Might not have to, but yeah, end up with like neon here. So let's take a look at the color. Oh yeah. Smells good. Look at that, it smells like toothpaste. That is pretty much the perfect color, honestly. So I don't expect to need the orange, but again, I have it just in case. So what do we do first? Strand test, just to be sure. We like it. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do really quick now. For the strand test, I just did a small piece next to my face so that I could kind of have it next to my skin. And in the sunlight, it's very, very yellow. In the bathroom, I had a hard time telling the difference between the yellow and my blonde color. So after the test, I brushed out all of my hair to get started dyeing all of it. Welcome back to my bathroom. Feels like we were just here, because we were. Um, okay, I've mixed a teeny tiny bit of the orange with the yellow, just because in the sunlight I am getting some green in the yellow. I don't even know if that's gonna help it. I have no idea, so I'm all professional. Um, but this looks like a nice, perfect sunflower yellow in the bathroom light. So. We'll hope for the best. And I've mixed all of it together from both jars. That way, if I do like it and I, you know, touch it up, I'm using the same color and I just put it back in the 
jars. I don't know. We will find out. I'm nervous. I'm always nervous when I do this, and then I just do it anyway. <laughs> hey, yo. My thinking here is that if I do love this color, um, since Overtone is just like a tinted or colored conditioner, it's like not as strong as the stuff at the salon um, in terms of keeping color. So then I can go and get the color like more um, permanent if I like it. And last time I had yellow in my hair, it took freaking forever to come out. So probably this will be in there for a long time anyway. Okay, I don't know how well you can tell on the camera, even in this lighting, it's kind of like hard to tell. But this shade that I'm seeing right now is a perfect, like, gold yellow. I put it up next to my eyes, and it's like that same gold. It's weird, it doesn't look like as dramatic as I would have expected, again, in this light. Um, it doesn't look like much, but like compared to this Blonde blonde, it looks pretty good. So, hoping for the best here. Once all my hair was covered, I let it sit for 30 minutes and then washed it out and was already really, really impressed with the color of my hair, even while it was wet. Um, it just looks so yellow, like it was beautiful. Okay, it's still wet. Um, so I'm not sure what it's gonna look like when it's dry, but I am in love. I'm so happy, I can't stop smiling. I already feel like I'm beaming sunshine and there's no one here except animals okay my hair is dry now it's not styled but realistically i never style it anyway but look how cute it is i feel like a sunbeam i'm so excited um it's definitely not as like as i was expecting it to be it's more than a pastel yellow but it's not punch you in the face yellow. Um, yeah, I think it's so cute. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. I am really stoked I tried it and I have like three quarters of a jar left over of the same mix of color. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was a useful video for you. Um, if you have any questions or comments or if you've tried this color, um, and want to share your experience, please leave that in the comments. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Check out the other videos I have on my channel. And if you would like to, subscribe. I hope you guys have a beautiful, sunshiny day.